and I think that is whenever you uh, you use Windows uh, uh, a portion of the DLLs or modules binary modules are loaded in the kernel mode and uh, some of them are loaded in the user mode per each process we will see each of them and uh, we'll see how uh, how hyper -DG can show both the kernel mode and user mode uh, modules along with their addresses their stats start size and pass to those functions there's also another uh, uh, command which is called lm this command will uh, list every uh, single modules that are loaded in a both user mode and the kernel mode in the user mode part you can see that the following files are currently loaded as we are currently debugging the hype in we are currently in the uh, hyper dvg process so we see this module based on hyper dvg these modules are called and their entry points are here. They're, they are located here and the start address is here. The same is also true for the kernel mode. You can see that we have the start address of these modules, the size of these modules uh, and uh, the name of them and also the pass for these uh, modules. Uh, there are also other parameters for this command, uh, like uh, if I use, uh, let me just clear everything, and let, if I want to use help lm, uh, lmkm only shows the kernel mode modules, lm uh, um only shows the user mode modules, we can also try to filter those modules, like for example, uh, let me show you the lm it shows the only the user mode or if i want to uh, search everything i can use m and uh, i want to search for the term nt in a uh, modules in both kernel mode and user mode and you can see that these modules con contain nt on their for example uh, on their name for example nt or their past nt os kernel has uh, nt on it or for example uh i don't know maybe ntfs or mount er or intel these uh modules have nt or if i want to specifically specify the ntos then uh, something like this will help which says that we have ntos ext or uh, and ntos car on car rnl in our system 